This is the all-new Taurus GX4 Carry. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the all new GX4 Carry from Taurus. Uh, this is an ex excellent, excellent gun. We already have about 250 rounds through it. Shoots really, really well. It is a Toro version, so you can re uh, mount a red dot on top. And then interchangeable back straps on this version of their GX4, so you can actually change this out. There's three different sizes that come with it. Um, one that it's on the gun, and then two other different sizes in the box. But it feels really good. Uh, the grip feels awesome in comparison to like the Glock 43X or the Springfield Hellcat. And it also has kind of a, a small finger groove right there. So you can really get a good purchase without your fingers slipping down. That uh, feels really, really nice. The trigger on it is actually really, really good. So you have a small length of pull there, just a little bit of take up your wall, and there's a really crisp uh, break there. So, and then a reset. Very tactile reset. Yeah, really good. And the magazine is 15 round capacity now. So uh, there are other versions of their GX4 go up to 13. Well, this is now capable of 15 rounds and really good quality mag as well. So it does have some uh, some lips on the outside of the bottom of the magazine. So if it were to get stuck, you're able to get a really good purchase on there and strip that magazine out. Um, yeah, what else? Sights are exactly the same as all the other GX4 series. So you have a blocked out rear and then a white uh, dot in the front. Now these are swappable with like the Glock 43X or the 43, so you can put some like True Glow night sights on there, something like that. Um, but they actually shoot really good, honestly. They feel really nice. It would be nice to have some night sights though. But yeah, let's shoot this uh, new Taurus GX4 carry and see how it runs. All right, guys, we have 15 fully loaded in the magazine, and plus we have one in the chamber up there. So let's see how well it goes in, see if it's harder to put in. Nope, actually it goes in really easy. Doesn't make a difference at all, so that's good. Let's do a few rounds on target up there. So it shoots really, really nice. This is about 20 yards back from the target. Um, that's not something you'd be using in a concealed carry uh, situation, but it's always nice to know that you can shoot from a little bit more of a distance, just in case you're using it for, you know, something in the woods or um, you never know nowadays. But let's try another magazine here. We'll walk up a little closer. All right, so let's see if we can make it malfunction. I'll just do some, some weak, loose hand here. Some left hand, loose as well. Yeah, 
This thing shoots really, 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 really well for a budget gun. Um, technically a budget gun, but honestly, the quality of it is really, really good. It has a nice uh, clean finish on it. It's kind of a matte, uh, matte black, and then really good stippling all the way around everywhere you need it. So uh, really digs into your hand, even though your hands are kind of sweaty. It's a little warmer out today, and this still feels really, really good in the hand. And I do like that on the front. So these smaller guns, when I shoot, I do like to put my front finger over it and kind of really contain that recoil. So that feels nice to have that little lip right there. Some some of these concealed carriers are just rounded off, and I do like that, kind of like a Glock style um, trigger guard right there. But yeah, this thing uh, shoots awesome so far. Let's load up a couple more mags. All right, guys, now we have a couple more mags loaded up. It does come with two 15-round magazines, so not too bad. It would be nice if they would throw in a third one, but you know, you can't complain for a budget gun. Um, still a really nice steel. Yeah, it's a really good shooter. I'm really, really happy with uh, how the performance of this thing is. Uh, it shoots really well. It shoots just as good as like the Sig Macro or the Springfield Hellcat or the Glock 43X. Glock 43X has a little bit shorter barrel barrel on it, but uh, yeah, this uh, this is an excellent gun. Really, really nice gun. All right, let's do some more here. Let's try a headshot on that right target there. And then the left. The, the trigger is very predictable, so when you're shooting, um, really easy to know where you're at with that reset. So if you're even if you're shooting fast, uh, it feels really, really good. Yeah, Taurus GX4 carry. Let's load up a couple more mags. All right, guys, now we're going to do a little accuracy test with it here. We're about, about 15 yards back. Let's see. Let's do five shots on center, and then I'll do a couple head shots there. All right, let's go check it out. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five. So that's in like a three inch pattern, dead on center. And then we have one, two, three, and then I missed one just right off the side there. That's a really good pattern for about 15, uh, 15 yards back right there. So uh, let's do some more shooting. Yeah. All right, we'll finish off this mag here. Yeah, lock back every time, which is good. Always want your uh, a handgun to lock back. Let's throw another mag in there. We've got 15 more rounds. All right, we'll see if we can hit those smaller targets up there. That is a really, really good shooting gun. Um, yeah, absolutely love it. For a budget gun that's really not budget, it, it's actually a very good quality gun. So this is designed in Brainbridge, Brainbridge Georgia, and then uh, this is made in Brazil. So it is designed and thought out with uh, United States and Brazil. Um, kind of like their Taurus TX-22, though that one is made in the USA, but it feels a lot like the Taurus TX-22 combined with the GX-4 and just a bigger gun. So feels excellent for concealed carry, for uh, shootability. It just shoots so well. Very, very happy with this Taurus GX-4 carry. All right, guys, if you're new to 9mm Ridge, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I love you guys. Stay safe. Hope you enjoyed this video. Keep on shooting. Have a great day.